our graduate project, developed at the Hogeschool for the Kunst of Utrecht, we mainly use the Wii controller and its nunchuck as input devices for our virtual simulation. Since it also uses a head-mounted display to achieve full freedom of movement, we needed to come up with a solution to counteract the Wii controller's limited 45-degree field of view. Therefore, we designed a circular construction. This cage consists of scaffolding that holds together a set of wooden rings. Each wooden ring contains 96 infrared light-emitting diodes. These LEDs are connected parallel to one another and send out a constant signal that the Wii controller can receive. This signal will then be received by a computer with a Bluetooth connection, which sends the data to the Half-Life 2 engine. Because users automatically aim downwards with the Wii controller while performing the simulation, we included a second ring that is placed lower. This ring will provide a signal even when users aim more towards the ground. This ensures that users can always move around without losing the signal under normal conditions. In-game, the head-mounted display influences the view, which is mapped one-on-one -on -one to real-world movements. The Wii controller is used to perform actions, like picking up an object.